Let's solve another question based on the concept of fundamental principle of counting. The question is saying a coin is tossed three times. Keep in mind a coin. All right. Keep in mind uh, there may be head or maybe tail. It has head or tail. The total outcomes and the outcomes are recorded. All right. How many possible outcomes are there? It's a very easy question, by the way. Three times. Let's say this is the first time. This is second time and this is the third time. First toss, second toss and third toss. And every time, you know, there are only two possible uh, outcomes. You may get head. You may get tail, all right? So in the first time, uh, when you toss, uh, what is the possibility that you'll get in the first attempt? You may get head and you may get tail. So there are two, two uh, possible outcomes. And when you toss second time, what is the possibilities? You may get head again, you may get tail again. So there are two possibilities. And third time when you toss again, you may get head, you may get tail. Or you may get tail or you may get head. I mean, I mean to say you'll get head or tail. All right, so again, there are two possibilities. So total, Two times two times two that is eight so total possible outcomes are eight all right i'm going to say first time you got head then you will get head again you got head you first you get head you get head and then you get tail it may be like head tail and again you get tail it may be like tail 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 it may be like head tail head it may be like it may be like head tail tail it may be tail head tail it may be tail tail head or maybe tail head tail so first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth so there are total outcomes eight all right so there are eight possible outcomes